All right, got a cool like visualizer effect and music playing thing I can show you here. So, um, for example, player walks in, leaves, the music stops. When you go back, the music picks up where it left off. Instead of starting over, you noticed probably a, a visual glitch there which I will actually fix later. Um, so the main elements you need to do this visualizing effect um, based on the audio volume is you'll have your player or whatever is gonna run into an area 2D. So here's the area 2D with a collision shape inside. Just happens to be a rectangle for me. Um, and I should make it taller because I don't wanna be able to jump above it. Um, then you also add a point light and you've got to set your texture to a radial radial fill and you know do what you want to do with the light or whatever and change the color and, and all that okay and then you also add an audio stream player there and you add your audio file and audio stream player 2d based on distance will as you walk away from it get quieter and as you get closer get louder so you can set your distance for that so with those elements in place, we can look at the scripting. In my player script, I put a variable up here called audio position equals a float 0.0. So that's a global variable. Down here, I have functions that are actually coming from area 2D. If you click on area 2D, there's a node called body entered, which you can double click and assign to the player and press connect. When you do that in your player script, it will show up there, this first line right here, and then it'll say pass. You're gonna, you're gonna replace pass with a script here. The way you replace it is you take audio stream player 2D and you drag it in, and then you press, you enter dot play audio position. That's the variable we set earlier. Okay, next, um, you're just telling it to play from the beginning because we set the flow to 0.0. .0. Uh, then you do the same thing. You go to area, area 2D, node, body exited. You have left the rectangle on the screen. Press connect. That will show up in your, again, your player script right here. And then now you're going to say audio position equals audio stream player 2d which you drag in dot get playback position it's gonna when you leave the rectangle it's gonna figure out what playback the music is at and it's gonna save that and then you can say audio stream player dot playing equals false that's gonna turn off the music okay so <clears throat> another thing I'm gonna add here is I'm gonna drag in point light 2d and in the inspector, so over here we have a property enabled for the point light, and we can use that to turn it on and off. So I'm gonna say dot enabled equals true when we walk in. And down here when we leave, I'm gonna say false. That is gonna make the light just completely disappear so that the audio glitch I was I was seeing earlier just doesn't even matter. Perfect. Okay, so we here all we've done is we've said play the audio, turn on the light. And then when we leave, turn off the audio, turn off the light. And we also save the playback position so that when we re-enter the song doesn't start over at the beginning. Um but we also need to make that flickering effect. And the way we do that is we go into area 2D and we create a script. And I'm gonna make two variables here, variable spectrum, variable volume. At the ready stage here, we're gonna say spectrum is gonna get something from the audio server. It's gonna get the bus effect instance. 0.0, .0 and I'll show you what that means. 
And the arguments you pass to it are the mixer number, like which bus, and which effect on that bus. Down in the audio tab, on the master bus or whatever bus has your audio, you're gonna add an effect and do the spectrum analyzer. And so it's gonna go, I don't know, go get info from that. <laughs> um, down here, we're gonna say volume equals getting the magnitude for a frequency range. So you can set that to like zero to 10,000 or uh, you know whatever. And then dot length is a float. Um, so then go ahead and drag in your point light 2D. And there's a, um, like a parameter for it called energy. So we can say point light dot energy equals the volume times 90 or any number that you find suitable. The reason you're multiplying it is because volume is actually a very small number when it fetches that magnitude. So let me show you. When the music plays, those are very small numbers for the audio magnitude. And they're not large enough to affect the energy over here. So you have to multiply it by some value just to make the energy even change. Okay, so I, I printed volume just to check that out and see what was going on. At that point, you have your flickering light. Um, your music plays properly. That Yeah, that covers everything. So um, I hope that's helpful. And I think that can be applied to a lot of different things because you could fetch that magnitude in that frequency range and you could you could send that to anywhere. You could adjust any parameter based on what the music is doing. So um, hope that helps and feel free to ask questions if I didn't cover anything well enough. Thanks.